Speaking of a childhood song, the first name that pops into my head is the Smurfs. Let me give you some basic information first. If my memory is not mistaken, it was in my primary school that、um, I got addicted to the song since the first time I have heard of it. And it was a story about a group of dwarfs tried their best to beat down a guy, a bad guy. I super dug this song for the following reasons. To begin with, as it's a, a theme song of the Smurf animation, and I watched it almost every day. So I heard it. I heard it over a thousand times. Moreover, the lyrics and the rhyme of the song was so easy to catch, and the children in our school、uh, would repeat the song whenever we played games. So, this song are just a symbol of my childhood. Now, whenever and wherever I hear of it, I will remember of my happy childhood. And another video on childhood. This time, describe a childhood song you remember. Let's have a listen to this one. Speaking of a childhood song. No, don't do that. Who is speaking of a childhood song? Nobody. The examiner didn't say anything about a childhood song. He wasn't talking about a childhood song. The examiner just gave you a prompt. There's no conversation going on about childhood songs. Do not use this introduction. The first name that pops into my head. Is- no, nothing popped into your head. You had one minute to prepare for your part two. Nothing suddenly comes into your head after one minute of preparation. Is the Smurfs? Let me give you some basic information first. If my memory is not mistaken. All right, people can be mistaken, but not memory. So you could say, if I am not mistaken, but not my memory. It was in my primary school that、um, I got addicted to the song since the first time I have heard of it. Okay, so here she says, "I got addicted to the song since the first time I have heard of it."、Uh, two problems here. Number one, I don't know why she's using the present perfect tense. Because if you get addicted, then that's over; it's finished. And the first time you hear something, well, that's also finished. So these are two things that happened in the past. So why is she using the present perfect tense? Also, why is she using of? If you hear of a song, that means you don't actually hear the song. You just hear people talking about it. For example, someone says, "Someone says, 'Hey, have you heard the song?'" Then someone is talking of the song, and you hear of the song. But if you hear the music, then you hear the song. You don't hear of it. So instead of this, I think she should say, "I got addicted to the song when I first heard it." And it was a story about a group of dwarfs. Tried their best to be down. All right, so here we need a relative pronoun here. It was a story about a group of dwarves who tried their best to be down. To be down a guy, a bad guy. I super dug this song for the. F- super dug. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's not bad. It's pretty good. But if English is not your first language, just be careful with using slang. Here she uses it correctly. If you really like something, you dig it. Following reasons, to begin with, as it's a, a theme song of the Smurf animation. Okay, theme song. Yeah, shows have a theme song though. It's song, not some. And I watch it almost every day. So. Wait, what? Why is there an as? So as is the theme song of the Smurf animation.、Uh, actually, I, maybe just the Smurfs. The show was called the Smurfs, wasn't it? I'm not sure. <laughs> That the name is not really important. But as then what? We need another clause here. It feels to me like something is missing. But it just the sentence ends here with every day. So. As I, as it's a theme song of the Smurfs, and I watch it almost every day. What something is missing there? Just, I don't know why the as is there. Almost every day. So I heard it. I heard it over a thousand times. Moreover, the lyrics and the rhyme of the song was so easy to catch. 
Now there is something that we use in English, catchy. So a song can be catchy. But when a song is catchy, that's one thing. That's fine to say that. But does that, that doesn't mean it's easy to catch. If somebody throws a ball, the ball might be easy to catch. Music and songs are not easy to catch. And also this this catchy it's more about the rhythm than the lyrics. But that's not really the point. The point is don't say easy to catch. So the song was very catchy. That's what she should have said. The song was very catchy. And the children what did they And do? the children in our school uh, would repeat the song whenever we played games. What does this mean repeat? Does this mean sing? Or did they have like a I don't know, like a CD player or something? So this song are just a symbol of why is this R? My childhood. Now, whenever and wherever I hear of it, I will remember of my happy childhood. All right, there's some problems here. I will remember of. And here also, there's no of. So whenever I hear it, I'll remember my happy childhood. Fair enough, but way too short. It comes in at about a minute and 15 seconds. Under length, big problem.